Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be diving into the topic of color and the different ways we can define color in CSS. As you know, color plays a crucial role in web design. It adds visual appeal and helps to communicate the website's message. There are different ways to define color in CSS and in this video we'll be going over five of the common methods. Let's get started. Following along from the previous videos, you should already have the index.html file set up to point to an external CSS file. From here, we're going to clear out the code inside the body tag. If you do not already have this set up, pause the video and take a moment to add this code to your index.html file as well as creating a separate styles.css file inside a CSS folder. I've also included links in the description where you can find the code to get you started. Okay, after that, let's add five paragraphs, giving them each a different ID. I'm going to style the first paragraph using standard colors. So let's give it an ID of standard color and also say this paragraph is styled using standard colors okay for the second paragraph we're going to use rgb colors so let's <clears throat> give it an id of rgb color this paragraph is styled using RGB colors. Then for the third paragraph, I use a variation of RGB called RGBA. So give that an idea of RGBA color. And this paragraph is styled using RGB colors with opacity, which is what the A is. Then for the fourth paragraph, we're going to use hex colors. So an idea of hex color. This paragraph is styled using hex color values. Only for the fifth paragraph, I'm going to be using HSL colors. This paragraph is styled using HSL color values. Let's save that. <clears throat> now over in the CSS file, we're going to clear out the styles from the previous video and add new styles to make each of the paragraphs red, red with a green background using the different methods. So the first one, let's style the standard color ID. Let's make the color red, and you've probably seen this in the previous videos. Then make the background color green. You should now see that the first paragraph is styled with green and red text. So color names are a simple way to define color in CSS. These names are easy to remember and great for adding colors to your projects. Next, let's style the second paragraph. That one's going to be RGB color. Make the color RGB 255, zero, zero. Background color is going to be RGB 0, 255, zero. And there you have it. It's slightly brighter green, but that's OK. Um, RGB here stands for red, green, 
and blue. This is a way to define color by specifying the intensity of each of the base colors. Each value can range from 0 to 255, and you can create millions of colors by combining the different values. So theoretically, we can kind of adjust these values to make them look the same. So you can see from this comparison that the standard color is actually not um, truly green as defined by the RGB. Next, let's try, let's see the RGBA color. For that one, I do very similar to the previous one, RGB to RGBA to 55, zero, zero. Then I'm gonna give it an opacity of 0 0.5 or an alpha, which is what the A stands for. color RGBA 0 to 55 0 and also give this a 0 0.5 opacity then when I save it looks a little bit um, different but then that's because of the opacity value so here as I said RGBA is very similar to RGB except that it adds an alpha channel which controls the opacity of the color. This means you can make a color transparent by specifying a value between 0 and 1 for the alpha channel here. Next, for the fourth paragraph, we're going to use hex color. For the text color, use hashtag FF0000. The background color, use hashtag 00FF00. In my case, this is now almost exactly the same as the second one. Hex is short for hexadecimal. Hexadecimal values range from 00 to FF for each of the red, green, blue components. And they are represented by a hashtag followed by six, six digits. So in this case, the first two zeros is the red. The second two digits here is the green. And the last two represents the blue. Finally, for the fifth paragraph, Let's style it with HSL. Color, make that HSL 0, 100%, 50%. Background color, HSL 100, 100%, 50%. And that also gives us the red text and the green background. Here, HSL stands for hue, saturation, and lightness. Hue is the degree on the color wheel. Saturation is the intensity of the color. And lightness is the amount of white or black in the color. And there you have it. Remember, choosing the right color is an important part of web design and the different color formats we went over can help you achieve the perfect color scheme for your website. Be sure to experiment with different color combinations and have fun with it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the description for additional resources. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.